everyone. Welcome to the 23rd Sunday after Pentecost. For those of you who remember, we don't have very many Sundays to go before we start a new year in Advent. So I want to talk a little bit about our gospel story today, which I will read to you. And I also want to talk a little bit about Halloween, which Sunday is. We'll start with the gospel. The Holy Gospel of our Savior Jesus Christ according to Mark. A scribe had been listening to Jesus and the church leaders talking, and he was impressed with what Jesus had to say. So he asked Jesus, which commandment is the most important commandment? Jesus answered this one, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. And the second most important is this. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. No other commandment is greater than these. The scribe said, You are so right, teacher. These commandments are more important than any offering or sacrifice. Jesus was impressed and said, you're not far from the kingdom of God, I can tell. After that, no one dared to ask Jesus any question. The Gospel of our Savior. We've reached a part in Mark's Gospel where even though we didn't read it, Jesus has entered Jerusalem. You know how we celebrate on Palm Sunday with waving palm branches and shouting Hosanna. So Jesus and his disciples and others have come into Jerusalem. Jesus cleared the money changers, the, the lenders, out of the temple because he said, you don't belong here. And then some of the religious leaders are upset with Jesus because of that. And so they start to ask him questions. They have debates with him. And the scribe that we encounter in today's story, a scribe is someone who writes things. So he wrote down the law and the, all of the important documents for the temple and for the religious leaders. The scribe said to Jesus, well, can you tell me which is the most important of the commandments? Now, you know that there are 10 commandments that are found in the book of Exodus. And the commandments that Jesus says to the scribe actually aren't from Exodus. They're from two other places in the Hebrew scriptures. The first one is from Deuteronomy. Hear, O Israel. This is a prayer that to this day is said in the daily prayers of our Jewish neighbors. When they say their daily prayers, they say, Hear, O Israel, the Lord your God is one. And that's how they start their prayers. And so that's one. And then from the next book of the Bible, which is called Leviticus, Jesus takes this other one, love your neighbor as yourself. And he puts them together as if to say, you really can't have one without the other. You really can't say you love God if you don't also love your neighbor. And if you love your neighbor, you are demonstrating or showing love to God because God loves all, all people. And we know how to show love for our neighbors. It's not just having warm, fuzzy feelings about them. It's making sure that they're taken care of, that they have what they need to be safe and healthy and to be able to thrive and to grow up and to be strong. So making sure they have plenty of food and a, and a place to sleep and warm clothing and all of those things. And when we do that, that's how we show our love for God, too. So Jesus gives us these, these two, this, these great commandments saying, love God and love neighbor, and you're going to be okay. So that's the, what I want to say about the gospel story. Now, this Sunday is Halloween, and I know that's a very fun day for all of you who like to get dressed up in your costumes. Maybe you're going to participate in the ragamuffin parade. I hope you come to church first. You can wear your costume and then go. But Halloween is not just a day where kids get dressed up or scary things happen or there's ghosts and goblins and all of that. Halloween actually started as a Christian holiday. Now, you know, if you're old enough to remember, you know that 
we have a big church service on Christmas Eve. Now, Christmas Day is the next day, but it's on Christmas Eve when we first celebrate the birth of Jesus. The same is true at Easter. There's Easter Day, but the night before we have what we call the Easter Vigil, where we first say, Alleluia, Christ is risen. So Halloween is actually All Hallows' Eve, which is All Saints' Eve. So the 1st of November is All Saints' Day, and it's when we remember all the saints and martyrs through all the ages who have gone before us. The next day is called All Souls' Day, and on that day we remember people closer to us that may have died. But anyways, All Hallows' Eve, or Halloween, is the eve before All Saints Day. So in some places, there are big church services on All Hallows' Eve, just as there are on Christmas Eve or on the Easter Vigil. So when you're out trick-or-treating or you get yourself dressed up, I want you to remember that one of the things Halloween is about is giving thanks to God for the example of all the saints who have come before us. So that could be St. Mary or St. Matthew or St. Luke or St. Teresa or St. Francis or any number of saints that you may be familiar with. It's all of those saints and the people who have died for their faith that we remember on All Saints Day. So when I tell you Happy Halloween, I'm really celebrating a very important day in the life of the church and especially for our congregation, which is known as All Saints. So let's give thanks to God for teaching us to love God and neighbor, and also for all the saints. Loving God, show us how to love our neighbor so that we are also showing love for you. Just as all the saints have done who came before us, we give thanks for them. We pray that we too might be saints in your reign. Amen. Well, I hope you have fun. I hope to see you uh, on Halloween, and I wish you and your family every blessing.